In 1910, a Palestinian Arab man from Safad in Upper Galilee by the name of Shukri Musa traveled to the United States of America. During his time there, he was converted, became a follower of Jesus, and was baptized by George W. Truett at First Baptist Church of Dallas, Texas. Following his conversion, he returned to Palestine, taking with him the good news of the gospel message with the aim of establishing a Baptist church. On May 10, 1911, Musa baptized his first convert in Wadi El Laymun near Safar, and thus began the history of Baptist work in the Holy Land. Shortly after this, Musa moved to Nazareth, the hometown of Jesus, and would eventually fulfill his hope of founding a local church. He suffered from persecution and rejection at the beginning, but it soon became evident that he was bearing good news by preaching the gospel message. He was able to win many people to Christ and became a respected figure in the town. Following the First World War, the International Mission Board of the Southern Baptist Convention adopted his ministry, and in 1923, the first missionaries arrived. In 1926, the First Baptist Church building was dedicated in Nazareth, during the following years, Baptist work developed in the area surrounding Nazareth, in Jerusalem, and also in Haifa. In 1935, Nazareth Baptist School opened, providing quality education to Christian and Muslim children. However, the work was then disrupted by the Second World War, with all the American missionaries being ordered to return home. Baptist work suffered a great deal in those war years. Thankfully, with the end of the war, the missionaries were able to start returning. A man by the name of Robert Lindsay arrived to revive Baptist work in Jerusalem. New life was also seen in the Nazareth Church, one result of which was a major new venture in the opening in 1946 of an orphanage. Yet just as things were moving forward, another blow fell in 1948. The war of independence that resulted from the establishment of the State of Israel seriously disrupted the Arab community. Large numbers of Palestinians became homeless refugees. Many of them were obliged to leave this country to find refuge in Lebanon and Jordan, including members of the Baptist communities in Nazareth, Haifa, and Kufr Yassif. Yet our laws would prove to be a blessing for others because some of them would pioneer and then lead Baptist and evangelical work in those countries. Nevertheless, in this country, the work sank to new lows. In 1950, for example, only five members remained at the Baptist Church in Nazareth. Once again, however, the Lord intervened through the coming of new missionaries from America. It was in 1950 that the Baptist missionary Dwight Baker came. His vision was to rebuild the work, and God blessed him in a special way. Not only did the church begin to see growth again, but the Baptists re and developed the school we know so well today as the Nazareth Baptist School. Nor was growth confined to Nazareth, over the following years, new churches were planted in towns like Cana of Galilee, Turan, Acre, Elabun, and Rama. Growth continued during the 1950s. In 1955, the first class at Nazareth Baptist School graduated, while in a new development, a farm was purchased near Patah Tikva and renamed the Baptist Village in order that the Baptist orphanage founded in Nazareth after the war could expand and provide a better environment for the children. For many years, the orphanage would help care for Palestinian orphans abandoned or displaced before and during the 1948 war. Not everything was a happy story, however. In 1960, a terrible accident befell Bob Lindsay, pastor of the Baptist Church in Jerusalem. The national newspapers reported how Pastor Lindsay heroically tried to rescue an orphan who was trapped on the other side of the Jordan. While crossing the dangerous no man's land between Israel and Jordan, he stepped on a landmine and lost one of his feet. During the 1960s, Baptist work reached the point when the churches felt the need to develop their relations with each other. As a result, the Association of Baptist Churches was established in 1965 by three churches, Nazareth Baptist, Jerusalem Baptist, and a church that had been started at the Baptist village. The Baptist Village also became an activity center for youth camps and conferences. The camps had been established by 1966, and over the years since that time, thousands of Christian, Muslim, and Jewish children have attended them, and hundreds of young people from around Israel and from the United States 
have come to help there as volunteers. There were other signs of healthy growth in those years. The 1967 war brought the West Bank and Gaza under Israeli control so that the small Baptist community in Israel was able to build relations with a new circle of like-minded Christians. Yet more growth followed over the next decade, shown in the planting of new churches and in the people in many places whose lives were changed by the gospel message. One particular influence on the growing of Baptist community has been the Nazareth Baptist School. Not only do many members of the Baptist community trace their spiritual development to the relationships they developed at the school, but the school has achieved recognition nationally as for many years one of the best schools in the whole country. In the mid-1990s, the Southern Baptist Convention Mission Board decided on a new international policy of withdrawing from the support of established churches and institutions in favor of working with unreached people groups. This meant that they ended their involvement in the work of the Arab churches and of the school after more than 70 years of earnest effort. This created a new challenge for the Baptists in Israel. But God has provided with new friendships and partnerships in the Association of Baptist Churches taking the lead in helping smaller churches. The Baptist community in Israel has continued since then to seek fresh vision and momentum despite their limited resources and their constant challenges. One example of that is the involvement of Baptists with other evangelicals in establishing the Evangelical Convention in Israel in 2005. Another example is the local initiative in creating a new theological college opened in 2005. Nazareth Evangelical Theological Seminary has already been able to establish high standard theological courses in partnership with established British and American evangelical institutions, as well as practical training for ministry and leadership roles in evangelical life. The Baptists of the Holy Land can truly echo the famous hymn to say of God, Great is thy faithfulness. From an uncompromising beginning hundred years ago, the work has continued and grown remarkably, so that thousands of people have experienced the privilege of coming to know our Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior in the very same towns and villages in which the biblical prophets and Jesus himself ministered. In Nazareth that fact is especially remarkable since it was that Jesus was rejected when he declared himself to be the promised Messiah. In the year 2011, the Baptists in Israel have 20 member churches drawn from a wider circle identified with Baptist life of around 3,000 Arab people. Added to these are a small number of Baptist churches which provide for the expatriates communities in Israel. It is a fellowship that continues to grow, a community of dedicated followers of Jesus who seek to be sold for the land and a light for all nations. Even though they are a minority of evangelicals within a minority of Christians in the Arab community as a whole, together with other Baptists and friends, they celebrate 100 years of Baptist work in the Holy Land.